Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, you need to turn off the water to the refrigerator. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the evaporator drip pan in a Whirlpool refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver, utility knife, and a patty knife. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new evaporator drip pan. This evaporator drip pan is located under the refrigerator. It collects water that drips down the drain tube from the evaporator coil during the defrost cycle. If there's a water puddle forming on the floor at the rear of the refrigerator, Check and replace the broken evaporator drip pan. So we are at the back of the fridge and uh, to get to the part we need to remove this rear access panel. We have a few quarter inch screws holding it in place and I'm going to use the quarter inch nut driver. I'm going to take him out. I'm going to slide out the power cord and open that panel here. So we are looking at the evaporator drip pan that's installed here at the bottom of this uh, compartment. And uh, normally it would be taped down with a tape for the transportation so it wouldn't uh, go anywhere. Uh, so we're going to start with uh, cutting the tape. I'm using the utility knife. And then I'm going to use the putty knife. You can use the flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to insert it right there and I'm going to pull this out, that little tab. There's a, a cut inside the, the, this uh, chassis. And now I'm going to lift it up slowly and uh, pull it out. Make sure there's no water in there, otherwise you're going to put it on your floor. I'll slide it out. Now we can squeeze the sides uh, and pull it out. This is the old evaporator drip pan next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. All right, so we're going to slide in the uh, new evaporator drip pan. It will go between two brackets there at the bottom. And underneath, slide it in. So the drip pan is going to hit this uh, stub bracket, so called, and uh, with the two tabs on one on each side. So this is uh, as far as it will go in. All right. So there is that uh, the tab here at the back is going to be inserted in this slot uh, from the rear of this uh, chassis bar. If you're not planning to move your fridge around uh, like a transportation wise, uh, you don't have to bother even to put the tape on. Just leave it like that. Next, we're going to lift up the rear access panel and uh, slide the power cord into this uh, slot here. And now we're going to secure the panel with the quarter inch screws and match the holes. Plug the fridge in, open the water and check if there are any leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please Check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. 